हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दी नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर टू दैट इज लेथ मशीन एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डिफरेंट अलाइनमेंट टेस्ट दैट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द लेथ मशीन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द अलाइनमेंट टेस्ट सो ड्यूरिंग मशीनिंग ऑफ द वर्क पीसीज ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ द लेथ मशीन नीड्स टू बी प्रॉपरली फिक्सड so if all the parts are not available at its exact location then there are the chances that proper machining operation cannot be performed so to verify the proper location of all the parts of the lathe machine the different alignment tests are required and to understand the different alignment test some of the instruments are required for measuring the alignment or proper location of the different parts so from that first of all let us understand basically two important instruments that are required for the alignment test so the first one that is the spirit level and the second one that is the dial gauge now what is the spirit level so simply it is one time of the rectangular structure inside which one liquid arrangement is provided and which have the liquid bubble so inside which liquid bubble is available now when one want to measure the parallelism of the surface then at that time this spirit level is used so when if suppose this is the surface that we need to check if this surface is parallel or not so at that time we are placing the spirit level over it and we are checking the location of the bubble available so if during the movement of spirit level over this surface if this bubble shifts to the leftward side or maybe to the rightward side it indicates that that particular surface has slope maybe in leftward direction or maybe in the rightward direction so based on the location of the bubble one can see that if the available surface is parallel or not now the second one that is the dial gauge or dial indicator so the dial indicator is simply a structure in which one pointer available and with the spring connection this pointer is connected to the tip which is pointed downward now further to check the proper location or the proper centering of any of the component this dial gauge is used now suppose if you say if any of the component is rotating now during the rotation of the component if the proper centering is available or not to check that this dial indicator is placed or its tip is placed over this particular work piece and now as this work piece is rotating if its centering is proper and it is rotating properly then there is no force on this tip of the dial indicator but if it is vibrating upward and downward direction then what happens this rotation gives force over the tip as the force is applied over the tip this tip presses inside and due to the pressing inside and the spring structure is available inside the indicator over here shifts maybe to the leftward direction or maybe to the rightward direction so the shifting of this pointer towards the leftward or the sideward direction indicates that there is some centering problem in that particular component so this is how the spirit level and this dial indicator is useful for the alignment test now we will study different types of alignment test required for the lathe machine so the starting with first one that is the leveling of lathe machine so the lathe machine is fixed on the base and above base all the parts are available so it is necessary to check that if the bed that is fixed over the base it is parallel to the base or surface or not and to check its parallelism simply the spirit level is placed over the guide ways this is the spirit level 
the spirit level is placed over the guideways and it is moved over the entire guideways and then after it is checked that if the bubble is moving towards the leftward or rightward direction so if bubble is at center position that means the base or the guideways are properly fixed or properly centered arranged such that it is parallel to the available base but if the bubble is shifting that means it is you can understand that this particular guideways requires the proper fixing to maintain the parallelism so that is how the leveling of the lathe machine can be checked using the spirit level now the second one that is the true running of locating spindle of main spindle means the main spindle is rotating about its central axis and now for the proper machining it is required that the spindle is rotating about its own axis and there is no vibration inside the rotation of that spindle to verify that simply a dial gauge is placed over the spindle and then this particular cylinder is rotated as the cylinder is rotated the dial gauge is connected to this particular cylinder so what happens due to the rotation this dial indicator faces certain forces so if this locating cylinder is vibrating about its axis then it presses the pin of the dial indicator and due to which the dial indicator shows the fluctuation in the reading so if there are fluctuation in the reading that means this locating cylinder is not properly arranged and it requires the centering if the dial indicator is not fluctuating and it is positioned at the center that means this particular locating cylinder of the main spindle has proper centering and it can be used further for the machine so that is how using the dial indicator the true running of locating cylinder of the main spindle can be checked now the third one that is the true running of headstock or the live center so to check the true running of the live center simply on this splinter chuck is arranged and on the chuck the live center is fixed now as this live center is fixed now over the periphery of the live center this dial indicator is placed and now the reading of the dial indicator is taken into account and after that reading if there are no fluctuation that means that is properly fixed and if there are fluctuations in the reading that means that is no true running is available and it requires the proper fixing the method for testing is similar as we have discussed above now the next one that is the parallelism of main spindle to the saddle movement that means the main spindle is parallel to the saddle movement or not so to check that you can see the arrangement over here now for that what happens on the chuck side live center is fixed and on the tail stock side another center is fixed and it be in between that the mandrel is fixed properly now the dial indicator is fixed over the saddle it is important to understand that here the dial indicator is fixed over the saddle and after fixing over the saddle the main stand is provided on the saddle now after converting that stand towards the workpiece side this dial indicator is connected to the periphery of that mandrel now the rotation is given to that particular mandrel and here the rotation of the mandrel is not important because we are checking the parallelism of the spindle with the saddle now what happens this particular dial gauge after fixing on the saddle it is moved over this mandrel now when this dial gauge is moved over the mandrel by giving the movement to this particular carriage as the carriage is moving in longitudinal direction with the carriage this entire dial gauge assembly is also moving now with the movement over this mandrel if there are any fluctuation in the dial indicator that means there is some error in the parallelism and if there is no fluctuation in that particular dial indicator that means that particular spindle is attached parallelly to the saddle movement so that is how the parallelism of the main spindle is checked with the saddle movement now the next one that is 
true running of the tapered socket in the main spindle so again it is simple true running of the spindle can be checked by using which indicator so it is checked using dial indicator or dial gauge and now here it is required to check the tapered socket that means the dial indicator needs to be fixed over the tapered section and after that again after providing the rotation result is checked over the dial indicator and the analysis is made that if the given tapered socket is running properly or not the testing method is similar as we have discussed in above alignment test now the next that is to check the parallelism of the tailstock guideways and movement of the carriage that means the tailstock guideways are parallel to the movement of carriage or not now to check that again the important thing that you need to understand is this dial gauge is fixed over the carriage and as the stand is fixed over the carriage now what happens as the carriage has fixed connection and from the stand of the carriage this dial indicated dial indicator is pointed towards the guideways now with the movement of the carriage this dial indicator will also move and as the movement takes place due to the movement this dial indicator moves over the tailstock guideways and as the movement takes place the dial indicator reading is checked and after checking that reading the observation is made that this tailstock guideways are parallel to the carriage movement or not and how that reading is observed so for that if there is fluctuation in the reading of the dial indicator that means there are certain error in the measurement and if the dial indicator pointer is fixed that means it shows that the tailstock guideways are parallel to the carriage movement so that is how this alignment test is carried out now the next one that is to check alignment of both centers in vertical plane that means the both centers that are fixed on the headstock side and another that is fixed towards the tailstock side these both are in particular central line or not that means if the center line passing through which headstock and tailstock is properly in aligned condition or not because if it is certainly inclined that means the workpiece that we are fixing that may also incline and due to which there are error in the machining of the workpiece so for that this testing is required so to carry out this test simply the headstock and tailstock centers are fixed and in between them one particular longer workpiece is fixed now after fixing that workpiece the dial indicator dial indicator its stand is fixed over the saddle and the pointer or the tip of the dial indicator it is adjusted over the workpiece that we have fixed between headstock and tailstock after that simple this carriage is given movement in the longitudinal direction now with the movement of the carriage this dial indicator will also move in leftward direction or in rightward direction now with the movement of the dial indicator if there is fluctuation in the reading that means it shows that there are the certain error in setting the headstock and tailstock centers but if that dial indicator shows no fluctuation that means that headstock and tailstock centers are fixed properly between their central line so that is how this alignment test is carried out and you can now understand the importance of this type of different alignment test now the next one that is the to check axial slip of the main spindle now to check the main spindle axial slip again simple the dial indicator is fixed over the spindle section and as the rotation is provided to the particular spindle readings are observed on the dial indicator and as the readings are observed on the dial indicator from their reading one can check that if that spindle is properly centered or not 
so similarly the arrangement and the testing procedure is similar as we have discussed in our above alignment test and now the last one that is the to check parallelism of tailstock sleeve to the saddle movement that means the tailstock sleeve that is available is parallel to the saddle movement or not so over here simply again this dial indicator is fixed over the saddle that you can see over here from the saddle this dial indicator is fixed and this is the spindle of the or spindle or sleeve of tailstock now this dial indicator is fixed over the sleeve of the tailstock now this carriage is moved in the longitudinal direction and as the movement takes place over this sleeve the reading shows that if the sleeve is parallel to the particular saddle movement or not so up to now we have seen many number of alignment test that are required to be carried out to perform proper machining operation and for all these alignment test there are main two important instruments are there first one is the spirit level and the second one that is the dial indicator and how these both instruments are useful to carry out this different alignment test that we have seen in this entire lecture so i hope you get the clarity about how these different different alignment test are performed and where these alignment test are helpful so looking forward to see you all in our next lecture up to then thank you